Goku's College Days, Chapter 9, Falcone's Search Method. Ken ran out of the room and got into the red car that John had brought for him. Goku climbed in the car and Ken sped away to George's house. Goku was sniffling, and that drove Ken angry. So angry that every time he cried, he stepped on the pedal harder. We'll catch that booty stealing bastard. My name is Kenneth Queen, son of a Harry Queen and the Joker. And I promise you that I'll catch you. I know, but you don't have to worry about catching him. I studied martial arts, so when I catch him, I'll, I'll kill him. Ken pulled up to George's house, and he knocked on the door. And George answered it. Where's the cupboard? He ran out of the house as soon as he finished talking with you. He has a cell phone, but I don't know the number. Ken flipped open his phone, and is now the narrator, and dialed a number. It rang, and he heard a deep voice. Hero, is this a qua 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 Dixon? The voice said. Yeah, it's me. Who askin? Ken's voice was a high-pitched, squeaky voice, and when he wanted to, he could impersonate a woman really well. I'm a friend with Gorg. I never been checking you out. Last night I won the lottery, and I was 100% sure that you'd say a yes to date with me. I'm gay, but a date don't sound too bad. You friends with Kenny Quinn? No, he the son of Harry Quinn, right? No, I don't date Virens. Where do you want to meet? At Jorger's house. And from there, we're head wherever you want. See you there. Ken hung up the phone and did a Joker laugh and said, He's a coming right to us. Ken called Carl while puffing on a fat cigar in George's. Sup, Mr. J. How's it going? Call off the Farrakhani men and tell them to come to George's. Author to readers, Ken has tricked Komagrogra to come back to George's, and the Falcone men are waiting. Please review and add me on Facebook. My name is O.J. Simpson. Goku's College Days, Chapter 10, Kenny Quinn vs. Crap. In an hour, George hears a knock on the door. He opens it, and Kamekagra is standing with a pistol in his hand. Whoa, man. Well, that, that's, that's George. He changed the dialogue. The author changed the dialogue! Oh, my God. This is the most beautiful moment ever. It's almost readable, except for the fact that now I don't know who's who. Okay, well, we'll, we'll get through this, guys. We'll do, we'll do it. In an hour, George hears a knock on the door. He opens it, and Krunker cries, standing with a pistol in his hand. Whoa, man, take it easy, George says. My bad, George. I thought he was Quinn. Where is he anyway? He's at the dorm rooms at GCU. Why did you do it? I wanted that man. Goku is a fat-ass freshman and provided a good night. I'm glad to hear you say that, but you do know that... L that led that 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 led you to your death. Cra 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 turned behind him, and he saw a man in a red jacket, red pants, and a white face pant, white face pant, white white face paint. I just had to get dressed for the occasion. That's a nice suit, by the way," says Ken. Ken turned the pistol towards Crambadu Chupa and said, "Except the defect that you've been cut." Crombadoo kicked him in the groin and ran out the back door. Ken ran after him and fired three shots, but all missed. Crunk opened the back door, but a box blocked the way. He kicked the box, but an explosion occurred, and Crambadam was choking. Ken tackled him to the ground and pointed the gun towards his head. Night and night, sweet prince. Krankrakrinkwampadooba knocked the gun out of Ken's hand and poked him in the eye. He ran out of the room, and Ken sat on the floor, confused. George walked over to him and said, He surprised you, huh? No, shit. He is a strong man when he's scared. He stood up and ran out the door. He saw Goku holding Krakpudukov by the neck. 
Goku slammed him in the ground and yanked back on his arm, causing Father Christmas to scream in pain. Kent pushed Goku back and climbed on China. He pointed the gun to his head, but then stood up. Death would be too easy for you. I want you to suffer. He pointed the gun to his back and fired. Cramble screamed, and blood squirted out. They both go back to their dorm rooms, and Ken changed out of his red Joker outfit and into his school uniform. Thanks, Ken. I don't know how to repay you. Ken's eyes traveled over Goku's body, and, and he said, You have studied martial arts. Why did you step? <laughs> I don't know. You won't make money for fighting. Ken laid down and said, I've heard of a martial arts tournament that's every three years. You should go. It's in a few weeks, uh, but, but I haven't practiced fighting. I don't think courage is your style, Goku. Go fight in the tournament. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Starting tomorrow, I'll train my butt off. Goku ran out of the room and Ken's phone rang. Ken answered the phone and said, Hera? A deep voice said, Nine. Ken let out an evil Joker's laugh and silently said, Good to hear from you, Rex Arutha. I've gotten rid of the gay boy. I'm prepared to join Club Rexurance. Excellent. Meet me at the Burnley waterfront, and we'll discuss your pay. Your first goal is to finish college, and then we'll talk big stuff. But for now, we'll put you on small tasks. I appreciate the job, and I'll accept anything I get. We'll meet tomorrow. Okay. See you, Mr. Ruther. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Kenneth Quinn. The phone call ended. And Ken evilly laughed. Author to readers, the story is over. But if you want me to start a new one with him in LexCorp, please let me know. Please review and add me on Facebook. My name is dumb fucking I did piece of shit dick butt fucking Facebook gay god fuck. Great 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 fake name, Brendan. Thank you guys for watching. Please check out my other videos. They're also things.